All right, Keanu, they call you Kibo. What's what's that nickname? Where does that come from? Oh, that comes that just comes from my grandma when we was little kids. Me and my she gave me and my sister some nicknames. So that's how she did with all her grandbabies. So that's, my name's Kibo. I think my sister's name is a uh, bald eagle. So. <laughs> So. Bald Eagle's pretty cool, too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, how's fall camp going for you? Because uh, this is day two we've been able to watch, but day one, you were very vocal. You were very uh, boisterous. You feeling the energy? Oh, I feel. I, I like bringing the energy every day. You know, just always a blessing to come out here, be with the, be with my, be with my teammates, my brothers, and stuff like that, and just get out there and grind. Just because going into a new, new, new seat and going into a new conference, you know, everybody has that grit and everybody needs that energy to pick it up and make sure everybody stay focused. How would you compare this fall camp to the others? Because this is your fifth season at BYU, but you're listed as a junior because, hey, COVID, hey, Richard. I would say it's more, it's more, I'm more comfortable now just because I've been here for so long and, like, the plays and stuff, like, I have them, like, all, like, secondhand nature to me now. So I feel like I'm more comfortable now. It's just about being a leader, helping the new guys out, like Darius, Keelan, all, them, all the new guys, the transfers, like JoJo and all that stuff, you know, just trying to be more of a vocal leader and be more of a leader on the field, too. How are those newcomers fitting into this group? Because it it's a strong core with you and Cody and Chase, mm -hmm. and then there's some real talent with you guys. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, it, it, it can, it, it's real good right now, I would say, because, like, right now, like, Keelan always be trying to call me over to see, like, can we go over plays and stuff, and he lives with Darius, so they always, you know, asking me questions and stuff like that. So I'm just really trying to help them get the playbook down so when they're in there, they're not panicking too much. You know, they're in there, they, they could, like, just think about what the route they have and what, how, they run, how, they, how to run it. Their roommates is like the new guys, the transfers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, him, him, LJ, and then uh, Ray, Ray the tight end. Yeah, they all yeah. live in there. Ray Paulo, I think. Yeah, uh -huh. that's awesome. That's a good group. Who are you roommates with? I'm roommates with uh, Nick Billups, the quarterback man. So you know, I actually, Bill Bar employee number one, bro. You know what it is, you know what it is. You know what I'm saying. So, <laughs> and it's always fun just being with Nick. You know, just going over plays because he's a quarterback and his how he looks at the plays and how I look at the plays is coming together. You know, we have a whiteboard in there. We start going over plays and stuff. So yeah, I, I appreciate Nick, man. When does it sort of turn off the football part for you guys? Do you, do you get to relax, and what do you do to relax? Uh, I don't. Me, I would say for me, I don't really like to relax. I like to keep 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 my uh, keep my head in, in the football football film room and stuff like that. You know, just trying to see how I can improve and how I can get better as my as my game improves. So. It was a spirited finish to the practice that we got to watch some red zone. How would you describe kind of what the offense did in that time? Oh, electrifying, man. You can, you see what we have now. Like, you see when Aiden run the ball, when Dion from Colorado, when he came in, you know how we looking. So I really feel like this offense is coming along pretty, pretty, pretty well. Is it the same offense BYU's been using the last couple of years, or are there some wrinkles to it? Uh, there's a little bit of wrinkles to it. You know, we're kind of dressing up things and uh, trying to disguise things and stuff like that, you know, going into a new – new conference and everything, you know, trying to, like, make things look the same, but not really. Have you been following all this conference realignment stuff online? Nah, not really, man. I'm just focused on my team and how we can get better as a team. Okay, as a Texan, obviously a huge Big 12 influence. You're playing Sam Houston, too. What's this like for you? Uh, it means a lot. I would say it means a lot to me, you know, just, you know, playing against, like, all the people that I've, like, grown up with and stuff like that. Like, I have a lot of people. I, I got people at TCU, Texas, all that stuff I train with back home at Texas Tech. I think, uh... Uh, what I think, what's his name? Uh, what, I went to talk to JB, Joe uh, Bradley from Texas Tech, the receiver number nine. Yeah, I'm really good friends with him. So, yeah, it's, it's going to be fun. It's going to be real fun. Obviously, your dad's an All-American uh, at Texas Tech. Your uncle, Roy Williams, at Texas. What did they kind of talk to you about in terms of what you're hoping to do individually to help this team this year? Oh, just to just to be just to be a leader, just to be a leader. You know, a lot of a lot of teams, you know, don't really have that like vocal leader. So, just you know, just trying to be a leader on and off the field. What are you uh, hoping to accomplish to help the team this year? Besides being a leader, besides being a leader, I would say you know just trying to. Uh, I would say just keeping everybody in the film room and keep everybody healthy. You know, if you're not available, you know, there's no point in in trying to learn. So I would say just try to keep everybody, keeping them, trying to get their body rights and keep their minds right. It felt pretty physical despite not being full pads today. Mm -hmm. um, was, was that just like, hey, day three or four of camp, we're, we're getting a little oh, yeah. edgy here? I would say so, yeah, but it's like like I said before, everybody got that grit, you know, going into a new conference, you know, you know, people already downplaying us already, so everybody got that grit, got that temper to them, so I like it. I like the physicality that, we, that we're that doing right now, and this, I hope it keeps going through that through fall camp. Who's your favorite defender? Eddie. Eddie, uh, Eddie, I don't know how. Eddie but, yeah, Eddie always gets the best of me, I would say so. <laughs> but, yeah, I, I love going against Eddie, Jacob too, but Eddie, Eddie's the guy right now. Who's your favorite guy to match up with? Maybe it's Eddie. Eddie, yeah. Eddie. I would say Eddie yeah. too, yeah. Okay, I asked Chase the other day who's kind of the, the loudest uh, out there. He mentioned you, uh, I said, and I asked fastest. Who, who's your answer? Then I'll tell you what he said. Oh, me. You know, I'm going to keep confidence in myself. I'll say me. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I would probably say I'll probably give it to Parker. Parker just because that's what he said yeah I give it to Parker because he's more of a track guy and stuff like that so yeah I'll give it to Parker okay who has the best hands on the team uh, among the receivers my name is me 
to me. There were a couple games where you really broke out last year, right? Like Utah Tech and Wyoming stick out. What will it take to have similar performances this year at an increased level? Just to be consistent, I would say. Just being consistent uh, in the film room, uh, in the weight room, and in, on the field with practice and stuff like that. Just trying to be more consistent and not try to, like, you know, just have, like, a like little one game and stuff like that. Just trying to keep producing every week in and out. What's the best thing that Fessy Satake does as a coach? Fessy Satake, I would say... He always tried to keep the room like like positive. Like every time we're in the front room, he'll probably like make jokes here and there just to keep everybody smiling and stuff, not to be too serious. So this him just kind of keep us like more laid back and loose. I really feel like that's that's most important for us. What are you looking forward to the most this year? That championship. That's the most important. That's the that's the main goal right there. Just looking forward to that championship and playing the AT&T Stadium, and then hopefully go on and play it for the for the national championship. How does that feel to have that conference context and standings and, and what BYU has not had as an independent? I feel like it feels good. Like, like I say, it gets us, like, they're giving us a lot that we have to prove on. You know, we, like, the last couple of seasons we did good, but like coming into a new conference, they're like over here down us, like we haven't played anybody like that. So, you know, just keeping that grit and just staying positive all the way through. Seems like BYU's offensive line is stacked. I mean, we say that every year, but I saw Braden Kime playing guard. Mm-hmm. He's like the tallest guard in the country at 6'8. What's it like to see the potential lineups the BYU could have at O-line? Oh, it, 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 it makes me excited because, like, just looking back there and just seeing, like, how good the pocket is for Keaton to throw the ball, man, it gives me confidence to run my route and stuff like that, knowing I can get the ball. So just just that right there, man. Okay, you want to shout out anybody here? Uh, Shout out my mama, shout out my dad, sister, Auto, you know, love y'all back home in Texas. The, what was it, Bald Eagle? Bald Eagle, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Kenna. Thank you.